taking in the beautiful ambience. I'm stood here at the top of Wren Crag, which is just north of Thilmere. The plan today is to reach High Rig, which is nearly in spitting distance, so not much of a walk. However, there is a plan, and I'll let you into that later on. I'm just here enjoying this wonderful calmness, enjoying the songs of the birds singing, and there is a plethora of trees here, lots of vegetation. So I'm just going to spend a bit of a while, or a while, uh, see what I can find. I've already spotted a, a nice couple of pine trees, and you've got the fells beyond looking towards Hell Velin and there's some low-lying cloud going on as well. That's a lovely ambience and atmosphere this morning. So to the GoPro, let me just show you what I've seen. Really simple composition. Basically a couple of pine trees as I said with the nice rolling fells beyond. There is um, a few obstacles in my view there is a uh, white farm which I'm trying to sh I'm trying to hide it by placing another smaller fern tree, pine tree even, uh, in front of it, so uh, it obscures it. Try with a 35 millimeter, slightly too wide, so the uh, 70 to 200 has come out. Just trying to make it nice and compact, focused on the pine trees at F11. And as I said before, some nice, thin, rolling, uh, low-lying clouds in the background, just to add that ambience. No direct light, the sun is starting to come out, but it is slightly shrouded. Um, yeah, so first shot of the day, and I think it's a decent start. Wandering around on top of High Rig, see what grabs my attention. Lovely undulating landscape. However, nothing really standing out in terms of prominent foreground uh, interest. Uh, so this might work though. So I've got my 35 millimeter because I do enjoy my handheld photography, my 35 millimeter lately. Sun's getting a bit harsh. You notice I haven't got my hat on as well. I've left my tully hat at home. Not the uh, best move when the sun's out, is it? I have got my uh, winter hat, which is really good in late spring when it's warm. Not to worry. I'm just conscious about a bit of sun burn. Okay, so there's, I don't know. I'll take it anyway. Some nice faint layering going on. In the background, let me just turn you around, see what I might be able to make something out of this. Have a look at this. It's just a nice rolling landscape, isn't it? Really, get it framed up. Uh, one tip of the day uh, best ways to improve your landscape photography turn your camera on. Step one. Six more to follow. No. Right, let's look. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna frame up to the best I can do and take it. There's a bit of nice light as well. Okay, I'm just enjoying the moment to be honest. As I always do when I'm here. Okay, 
so I got that slightly wrong. The actual summit and cairn of High Rig is there. So there you go, only a small uh, trek. Weather-wise, it's uh, warmed up. The light is really faint. Just still create some lovely layers, really faint layers though. Uh, quite hazy, in fact. I'm just making my way back down from High Rig, uh, past Wren Crag, and head back down. Just had to stop, just to admire this wonderful little wooded area. Lots of trees unrooted here. Obviously been there for quite a long time, but there's also some lovely colours. I'm just <sighs> taking a look at this. Lovely golds against a nice light green background of the fell. You probably see the sun is bouncing off my face. I've had to put the uh, winter-ish hat on and it's getting quite warm to be honest. I'll just show you this lovely tree, lovely gold. Uh, I guess a nice faint background of the fell. I'm going to include, I might work with including the other foliage on this other tree left hand side, that's a bit of green. Let me just show you this. So yeah, 35 millimeter is out. Hiking wise, still not sure. This heat is not going, which may change my plans. Right, let's have a look. Wonderful wooded area. Lots of de-rooted trees, been there a long time. There's lovely shapes going on here. Probably really out of photograph, but so be it. Right, we'll never, we'll never go at this. No, I don't, I'm not sure it's gonna work this. Too hard, I can't really frame it up. Excluding this sky. I could work to crop it. Uh, I'm still going to take it of course, still going to take it, but it's uh, quite messy. But, like a lot of things, if something attracts you, your eyes goes towards it, there must be something there, so always worth shooting it, just in case. You never know. Bit Thoughtful photography to me, there's not much thought gone into it. Let's see. Right, let's head back down. See where today Texas from there. So today is evolving into one of those days where you work with what you've got. Really harsh, all the low laying cloud, a bit of mist in the valleys, that's totally burnt away. Uh, it's now about 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, I've managed to find this little specimen and I'm using um, the telephoto to frame up and a nice bit of backlight, emphasising those nice yellows against the similar sort of, well, same direction fells towards Helvellyn in the background. Still don't know what I'm gonna do. In terms of plan. To climb to the top of another of the central fells in the Lake District and that is Raven Crag. I'm just joining on fells as part of a, a hike now. Uh, yeah, change of plan, but that's where I'm heading where I'm heading now. The sun is melting down. Uh, it's still it's nice faint layers. So still opportunities. It's not written off photography wise. It's a lovely day actually. I'll take advantage of it. Enjoy the hike. It's 
So as you can see, that is the path to Raven Crag. However, I'm not near here up there for the time being. It's quite, it's still fairly early, it's only about midday. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend the hike even more, I'll include uh, another fell, which is Armboth Fell. It's about three kilometers what, south heading, uh, walking above Filmy. Midday sun is harsh, um, but it's, it's, it's a lovely hiking day. I feel I don't really want to end it. You know what I mean? That's all. Uh, make the most of it. I don't want to obviously get back too late because there's the Eurovision Song Contest on, and I want to sit. I mean, the uh, misses. Uh, I, need, I need to get back to. Anyway, here we go. I'm both at fell. Three k hike. See what we can find at the end of the year. That behind me is high seat, another way in right. It's in touching distance. That way. is Armboth Fell, but I've changed my mind again. I'm going to head to High Seat, then across to Bleabury Fell, which is further north, and then back down here, return journey, hey up Raven Crag, and by that time the light should be a lot better I reckon. There's some nice clouds building up so when I'm at the top of Raven Crag there should be something nice to shoot. And we said that I think once we get to the top of High Sea because look at this the cloud is rolling in and cloud means mood. Right that's it that's the plan I'm not going to change it. High seat behind me. And now looking towards my next fell bleeber it fell. Now it looks about 10k away. It's actually one and a half k away. But it's gotta be done. The reason I say it's gotta be done is route-wise, if I'm planning my routes, I like to group a lot of fells together. And if I miss Bleebury fell out now, it means I've gotta come back and do on its own, it just doesn't make sense, and might as well group them all together. Um, it's still very hazy, it's a nice little breeze, just keeping me cool enough. Um, but regards to the lights, still very hazy, very hazy indeed. Hardly any shadows as well, so not a lot to play with. It's just one of those days where it's a nice hiking day. Um, Feeling it though. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Feeling a bit tired. But I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna set off now. Now I know I didn't show any footage for the walk from high seat to where I am now, believe it fell. But just to share the fact that that was hard work. Boggy peat bogs. Really hard on the foot. I mean there's not been there's not been a lot of rain in this area, and even even still, it's wow. You can sink. You got to be careful. Good idea to have poles. Now I know this is a uh, landscape photography channel, but to be honest, I reckon it's about four hours since I last took a photograph. It's not photogenic. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I could. If, in fact, that's a quite nice shot, isn't it? I could get the telephoto out and take some nice zoomed in shots of the angular fells, making use of the layers and the triangles. In fact, that's what I will do. Really faint shadows, 
that it is indeed, and I've said that many a time, and it, sometimes it works, sometimes it works. Um, but yeah, I think whilst I'm here, I'm gonna get some peanuts, get the old 70 to 200 out, rub my face many times, because I'm so tired, and uh, take a few shots, and then head back. Tired legs, aching muscles, backs nearly busting, my necks creaking. Part and parcel of a good hiking day. Took quite a bit on there, if I'm honest. So I'm just enjoying these sounds and sights and smells of this pine forest. With late afternoon sunshine. I'm jigged. I've still got a small ascent up to Raven Crag where I'm going to get the camera out for the last time of the day and see what there is up there. But oh, I'm not getting younger. I forgot about that one. Wow, that's not what you want at the end of a multi kilometre hike in this heat. Whoa, that's tough. It's aided with steps, wooden steps, and, uh, and uh, stones, but even so, you've still got to lift your legs, haven't you? Beautiful views, absolute beautiful views of filmier. Uh, Beyond. It's a picture postcard shot, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to take it. There's a bit of side light, high cirrus clouds. But I might as well take the last shot of the day, and then I've got a bit of a trek back down to the car. Right. <laughs> well, I won't say it's the most. Um, oh. Whatever, what I'm trying to say, I'm jiggered. Not the best phot photography session, by all means. The options were more available, definitely, in the morning. And I thought the condition might steer like that, and then with the, the misty, low-lying cloud, that's a bit ambience, but no, it soon burnt off, got a bit hazy, as I said throughout the video. Um, limited options, really. But it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. A good hiking day, albeit got a bit too hot near the end. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, we're gonna sign out now. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's the final gallery of today's session. Look after yourself, keep smiling. Until next time, bye bye for now.